Hey, good evening, Waan, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Combat Commentary, and I'm your gracious host, Turtle Sage. You know me all too well, aka Richard. And I am here today to do a combat commentary, another fighter analysis. We've done one of those in a while. Yay! Anyway, so today's one, we're gonna do something someone a little different than usual run of the mill. I've been doing a lot of black fighters, that's fine, whatever. Um, today, we're going to do the Dutchman, Boss Rutten. And I've always heard the name Boss Rutten from mainly my friend Sam. He put me on to him, and kudos to him for that, because, man, okay. This man, Boss Rutten, for those of you who are already in MMA, this man needs no introduction. For those of you who don't know, Boss Rutten is a six foot tall, really scary looking Dutch guy. He's a Dutch fighter with a Kyokushin karate background. We already know from my last combat commentary how I feel about that particular martial art. This man looks like Marta from Tekken, and yet fights like Hihachi. I mean, and like, he, that's who he reminds me of. And if we look at just the things he's accomplished, he did a, he, he could be, he could, he participated in a promotion called Pancrase. Yeah, Pancrase. Basically, the difference between Pancrase and other MMA venues is you're not wearing gloves and you're, well, you're not allowed to punch to the face. Um, you can palm, but you can't punch. This is it. That, that, that creates an interesting con, like concept because you can do a lot more. Uh, people think, oh, well, it's palm, palming. Well, I, I study two martial arts. Well, all the martial arts I study have palm strikes. And as the old saying goes, soft, overcomes hard, yada, yada, yada. Well, Boss Rutten is not soft. <laughs> no, this man is made of wood. He's, he's a Viking, essentially. And a you know, Viking who knows karate. If he dies, he dies looking ass. Anyway, so he would finish off a lot of folks using his palm strike. And that, that was interesting because the thing about hitting with your palms is when you punch bare knuckles, you have a great chance of breaking your hand if you haven't conditioned your knuckles. But you can palm strike someone until you're like 80. And that is good to know, especially because I'm not getting any younger. Now, Boss Rutten used the great effects. He fought a lot of Japanese guys. Pancras apparently um, was home to a lot of Japanese fighters. And that's one thing I've noticed about the Japanese. They're really good at grappling. Well, one thing I got to reward, you know, congratulate Boss Rutten on in particular is his ability to adapt to the Japanese the way they fight. The Japanese are very good at grappling, hence them creating a martial art called jujitsu. So, early on in his career, he was not necessarily known for his grappling ability. He, but he would get people in the guillotine choke. Basically, they try to rush you like this, try to shoot in. He'd get up. He'd get him up in that headlock. It's basically a, a forward headlock, and you could choke somebody out doing that. And I and one of these days I might have a how-to foo on it. I don't know. Maybe if I'm feeling cute. Anyway, but, but Boss Rutten was really known for his striking. And if you want to know, have an idea of what Kyokushin Karate looks like. Again, I invite you to watch anything from Michael Jai White or. Jason David Frank, a.k.a. Tommy Oliver, the Green and White Ranger, and the Red Sea Ranger, and the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, very straightforward, very hard, very brutal. And yet, while 
Bosch Rutten is not known for fancy footwork, which, hey, as a Mijong fighter, I'm like, yeah, gotta have footwork. You know what? This one time I might actually let it slide because what he lacked in, in like fancy footwork and agility, because, you know, he's a big ass Dutch dude, he made up for precision. And this man, when he would grapple someone, and especially one thing I noticed with him is he would stand up when he would stand up from getting out of a, a of a ground fight wrestling he would throw knees and when he would throw knees this man was so precise with the knee he, he could feel when you were breathing and when you would exhale that's when he would hit you and that he would do twice as much damage the kind of insight that takes as far as fighting is concerned, is brilliant. And speaking of the rest of his leg techniques, this man's kick game, holy crap. I, you look, at, this is speaking as a kicker. I am definitely one to use my kicks. As you all know, I study martial arts, my John Lawhorn, Northern Shaolin, so we kick. I wouldn't even go into how much we kicked, but this man impressed me. Just with not only his precision and his flexibility, but his raw power and sheer brutality. This man, he would, he, he, he would cut, cut you down with his, with his like low roundhouse kick like a lumberjack. This man was Paul Bunyan with them kicks, man. Just, boom, and that's it. You can't stand up anymore. Right? Jesus. And also, again, back to the palm strikes, one thing I see him do a lot is he palms someone in their midsection and he would he knock the wind out of them. They'd be like, ugh, I can't breathe. And I'd just be like, golly. So if I were to fight someone like him, yeah, well, <laughs> more other than that, I'm probably gonna reach for something in my belt, usually a hook knife or my katana or something or my glock. Cause no, I'm just not dealing with it. But if I have to fight him hand to hand, yeah, I'm I'm gonna be darting around, just playing, just either disrupt his structure or don't be in the way. Because this man is just straightforward, just brutality, and that's good. However, it's good he retired because you cannot fight like that forever. Bones do break, they get brittle, we get old, they calcify, and yeah, that's, time catches everyone. So you're smart about it. Now granted, one thing I also gotta, gotta congratulate him on, because while he didn't start out as a grappler, he adapted as fighting, as he progressed in his career, because yeah, this man did definitely take L's from Japanese fighters. I forget his name, but he wore the green trunks. It was probably one of the most famous fights he had. The guy initially beat him. He came back and beat him. But he lost because he... He lost initially because he wasn't a grappler. And this is a lesson for us all. You've got to keep developing as a martial artist. As a person. Period. But definitely as a martial artist. And that's basically what he did. And look, given a chance, this is a guy I would study under. I would love to learn from him. Just about the professional fight game, about fighting in general, and really just about life, because he seems like a nice guy. Although I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. Now, he also makes great use of fighting from his back. And even when it looks like he's losing, he's really not. Which is another thing I need to work on. So either way, this man is straightforward brutality, he, but yet he's adaptive, and yet he's precise. Hey, Boss Rutten. One thing I would say he could probably stand to do more of, although kind of like the great white shark in he, he really hasn't had to evolve too much outside of grappling. Make his head movement a little bit more better, but that's just me. 
you know, if I got to have any criticism to be fair and balanced, it's that. But that's just me because I prefer to get out of the way. I prefer to dissolve your, your force, that sort of thing. I don't want to come in hard, hard, hard every time. Hard, soft, don't be there, stop, go, touch and go, keep neutralizing until I get you a place where I can hit you, you can't hit me. So, but that concludes my commentary on Mr. Boss Rutten, the Kyokushin Dutchman, and mixed martial artist. So if you like what you heard and saw, ring that bell icon, like, share, and subscribe, leave your comments on how you feel, and inform me if there was anything I missed. So I've had a lot of fun watching his combat skills at work and well, I look forward to doing more commentaries like this. Who do you suggest? Leave your comments. I'm thinking of doing Bud Crawford, boxer, and maybe even another action star. So either way, leave your comments, like, share, subscribe, and with that, Practice hard, get stronger, be water, my friends. Side Chan, Turtle Sage, out.